It's Pop Trigger Time! Yes! Woo! Yes, yes, yes. You guys, we have a really great show today. We have Art and Rose here! Yeah! YouTuber and star of Mr. Student Body President. Thank you for being here. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. Thanks for having me. We were just admiring your style and your kicks. I got my sweet, sweet kicks on. Don't know can if you, you see can the see Mickey's those. on there? Michael Mouse on her shoes. Yeah, do you like my leg extension I'm doing? Famous Mickey Mouse. Mouse. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Gymnast. And we All also have to congratulate you, and we, we just did, but you were very um, humbled, <laughs> I guess you should yeah. say. We just did it. Let's not do it. So we have to congratulate you on your on your Streamies nomination oh, for your you. YouTube oh, channel. Thank you. Very exciting. Oh, yeah. And this is under the fashion category, but you were surprised yes. by that. Yeah, well, I just, you know, I follow a lot of really, really fashionable, wonderful people that make it their full-time job, so I think it's a big honor to be nominated in that category um, and I hope I do it justice. You do do it justice. You know. Yeah, you do. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Grace and I are not mad uh. for not being nominated for the fashion category. I was going to say like, uh. same, also nominated. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been like, duh. big hit flannel in this year. It is. <laughs> Is it, it is. It really is. Yeah, oh, flannels yeah. are always in. It's flannels. lesbian season. Amazing. <laughs> flannels are always in. Make sure, before we get into Mr. Student Body President, make sure that you all vote for Arden Rose Aww. for a streamy. Yeah. Vote, 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 vote. Yes. So okay, sweet. so let's talk about Mr. Student Body President. Let's oh, talk please. about, uh, to the viewers out there who have not yet seen it, tell us about the show. Tell us about your character. Your character, you play the commander in chief. Basically. The student Body President, basically. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm, Basically, the show is Mr. Student Body President, and it's about uh, Tyler Prendergast, who is the Student Body President. But he takes things as seriously as an actual yeah. president of the United mm -hmm. States. Great. So everything matters a whole, whole lot. And so he has a very like well thought out group of people following him in the student government as well. Very political. Very political. And we talk about a lot of you know divisive political topics during the show. It's delightful. But uh, I'm his chief of staff. <laughs> Uh, I Hadley love that. Guido. It's so funny mm -hmm. to hear that for high school. Right. So that's yeah. kind of the fun part about it is that it is like a very educated show for something that's targeted a little bit more towards a younger audience. But that's the kind of stuff that I watched when I was 14, 15. I loved watching like more adult television. So I thought that was always really interesting. But my character in particular is like kind of a complete sociopath, which is super fun to play. How? <laughs> so you identify with that or no? 100%. Nice. I just, so, you know, don't remember the last time I cried. Were you involved in student government? at all? You know what's so funny? I wasn't. I started like the Scrabble Club at my school. Okay, that, that's, that's amazing. That's amazing. That, was, that was the most that I ever <laughs> did. And I think maybe like we had five Was it an after school it. club or was it during like lunch time or during breaks? So there was a free period that we had during our Perfect. school time that you basically, you needed to be a part of a club or be in a club to access it or you would just be sent to like one of the gym rooms to hang out. So I was like, <laughs> we're going to start a club so we can like just chat while pretending to play Scrabble for a mm -hmm. while. Although we got really intense into it. At first we were like, oh, Scrabble. Gravel. We're just gonna like play <laughs> a couple rounds, and then it got hardcore. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. We were drawing blood from <laughs> each other by the end of it. It was good. So stuff. is it safe to say that you're a really good Scrabble player? I think I'm pretty skilled. <laughs> like I don't think I'm bad at it by any means. I love it. You know? Okay, so more about your character though. Like, what do you do to prepare for your character? Because she's a sociopath. Right. So, well, <laughs> yes, I always say that. Like I always say that, but she does have like a little bit of humanity in her. It's just that she's very driven to make sure that whatever she does furthers the plot of Tyler's reign, because she knows that's where she holds the most power as well. And she's like obsessed with social order and power. Does she have an um, end goal? Like, does she eventually want to be president? I don't really know. I mean, maybe. I think she just likes being in control without having to be the face of things. Because that's her entire thing is like, Tyler has to deal with all the people that she doesn't want to have to deal with. All I'm thinking when you describe this is a mirror. Why? He's behind the scenes. Oh, he wants boy. to make sure that our reign continues. Also, sociopath. No, I was, there you go. I was thinking of a like House of Cards, Doug Stamper. That's my character. Yes, that that's is my yes. character. Okay, good. Yes. I wasn't. I wasn't gonna make the analogy until you said yep. sociopath, and I was that like, is, well, it like it Doug Stamper. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm glad that was ahead. the first thing you thought of. Yeah. So similar to Doug, it's like he doesn't necessarily want to be president. He just wants the power of the president. Mm -hmm. So like the president obviously is the number one person, but. They have to be in the spotlight. They have to deal with all like the crappy people, and I do not. And that's the fun. But part. you're number two. But I'm number two, baby. <laughs> I'm in that background. I'm scheming. I love it. Okay, so let's talk about your YouTube channel. So, how did you even get started in YouTube? Um, I started a really long time ago. I'm an OG YouTuber. Love it. Uh, I love OGs here. We well, love yeah. them. I started in 2008. Okay. So long ass yeah. time ago. Yeah. It's infancy. Yeah, really. And I was uh, 14 years old when I started it. So it was kind of a way to not be like a, a lonely 14 year old. 
um, which was good. I just, you know, didn't. So you didn't have like a bigger picture. You just thought, I want to do this for me for fun. Yeah, well, I always wanted to be on camera. Like I was definitely an extroverted child who always felt like that would be something fun to do. I remember making like a whole lot of like home videos that were incredibly embarrassing now. <laughs> I've actually uploaded a couple to my channel and they're really rough. Like, oh, I wish we could Link watch them. I wish we had them. Everyone. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think there's one called My First Vlog where I teach you how to how to soldier boy. Yeah, right. That's like wow. a, that's that's actual a time thing. and a place that's right a there. That's a time and a place. Right, oh that was my that was the genesis of my channel. How do you soldier boy? Uh, um, I you, tell him. You know what? Watch the what, yeah, tell him. Yeah. Watch watch the video. Watch honestly. the video. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is the oh my, oh my go. god! I'm so you still I'm aging myself. Yeah, you still this remember? Is, okay. God, I'm 21 and I feel ancient. But no, so yeah, it started off as just like goofy stuff. But I think I had the end goal to do something in the entertainment industry. It was just I lived in Arkansas. I'm from Arkansas. Oh, oh really? Wow. Yeah. So when did you move to LA? Oh, uh, when I turned 18. Like so, the Clintons. Like the Clintons. Hometown or Ozone. Yep, they actually went to the same church as me, but they, they sat up in the back. They weren't, oh. gonna, they weren't gonna sit with us kids no. in the front. You know what I love no. about your YouTube channel is I love that you, you, you've got a lot of uh, fun stuff that you do and you're, you're very talented, but you also, you talk a lot about mental health issues. Oh, and yeah. that's really important, that's important to me, that's important to a lot of people, it's important to our show, it's important to a lot of your viewers who I'm sure feel more comfortable, it breaks the stigma, then they think they can talk about it, not feel ashamed and get help. So why was that important to you to be like really transparent with them? Um, you know, it's just like you said, I feel like the more that you talk about something, the less stigmatized mm -hmm. it is. It's so much easier to talk about something as a group if, if one person can come forward and say, hey, I struggle with this and I have a big enough audience that I feel like I have a responsibility to talk about things that I struggle with so that if anybody else does, you know, they can be uh, helped out in some way. I have trichotillomania, mm -hmm. so that's something that I've struggled with. What is that? Right, so <laughs> it's a hair pulling disorder. What? Which is very- Kind of like OCD though, right? It, it is. goes hand in hand. It is, yeah. it's an OCD disorder. Yep. So basically, and it used to be classified as an ICD disorder, which is an impulse control disorder. It all gets very technical. Yeah. But basically what it means is, for like most of my high school, I didn't have eyelashes or eyebrows. Yeah. Holy garbage. Yeah, so that was really fun. But some people have it of the scalp, some mm -hmm. people have it on their arms. Like you can have it anywhere, because it's just hair pulling. Yeah. Um, and it's very much so related to like um, dermatillomania, which is like, like you might have a really mild form of it if you bite around the edges yeah, of your fingers. Yeah, got it. Cuticle situation. My husband yeah. does that a lot. Yeah, so yeah. So what does know. he have? What is the dermotillomania? I will tell him that as I go home today. Or dermophagia, if you okay. if you eat the skin around yeah. your skin. I don't know. There's the a whole too. yeah. yeah there's a okay. whole weird subsect of things mm -hmm. that you don't even realize are like a problem. But I found out recently that like 2.5 million people have trichotillomania in the U.S. How big a problem is it? Right, but people hide it really well because it, most of it actually is female. So because it's it's generally yeah. like some kind of disorder related is it an to anxiety body anxiety related. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, anxiety control. Yeah, yeah. all of all Goodness. of those fun. How have you been able to deal? with it um you know number one I have an amazing boyfriend that slaps my hand away all the time good so when he's out of town I'm like oh god yeah yeah exactly so you know that uh, but I think it's just a lot of like it the problem with that sort of thing is it's a comfort zone so you do it to feel comfortable or to feel like you are settled so if I'm really stressed out like this weekend I had a really stressful week uh, weekend and um, it's a trigger it's a trigger yep. yeah so then you're like okay well this is comfortable and it makes me feel better so mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this to like you know satiate that anxiety so what is yeah what is uh, diagnosing it do for you like now you have a diagnosis what do you absolutely do next absolutely nothing yeah. well because here's the thing it's not curable like you can't take anything for it necessarily you can take like anti-anxiety medication because that you know, nips it in the bud. Right. Kind of. The triggers are uh, numbed. Exactly. But then you're kind of treating something different than the actual disorder. So it's basically just learning about it. Knowledge is is key to this. So right. like since I know about it now, I've also heard people talk about putting like spicy stuff on their fingers. Yeah, that's what go. you do to dogs is you yeah, spread you treat the yourself, sour apple. Yeah, mm -hmm. you treat yourself like a dog. So if you don't want to burn your eyes, you put hot sauce on your hands or something. I did that in high school a couple of times. Ow. Ah yeah, and it helps. Just like just dipping your fingers in hot sauce? Yeah, or just putting like a little bit of like cayenne pepper on the end of your fingers because when you start to go to pick, you don't realize that right. you're doing it. But if you smell that as you're about to do it, you're like, oh Oh God. But you said knowledge is key, and it is. Yeah. Knowledge is power, and then you know how what those triggers are, how to prevent them, how to help with your stress, whether that be meditation or other things to control oh, yeah. anxiety. Mm -hmm. So it's important that uh, people feel comfortable enough to go seek out what that diagnosis is so they can be in control of, of what is actually uh, wrong with them per se, because it's, 
Uh, that's another thing too, just like thinking that something's wrong with you. Nothing's wrong with you. It's yeah. just, it's, I don't want people to feel ashamed. No, you know, I no, can no. relate, you can relate. We can all relate to some degree. You know, I've dealt with depression and anxiety most of my life. And it's it's something that, that once you know what your diagnosis is, then there's different things that you can implement in your life to stave that away and oh, yeah. deal with it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah and so I just really appreciate you talking about that on your oh, channel. Oh yeah, it's, it's I don't amazing. mind it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's become, I'm like known for it now. And I'm like, do I really want to be known as the girl that pulls out all over? <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah. but okay. You're amazing. You really are. People you're, know you. No. I think it's more that they know that you're like, transparent and genuine right. authentic. That's the one thing yeah, I know. Yeah, he's like, oh, that girl yeah. that pulls out her hair. Yeah, it's a good oh, yeah. Device. There she is. Yeah. That's, so. It's crazy that it's like for control and anxiety and controlling yeah. your appearance, but then you look at yourself afterwards and it. Like, right. I hate to sound like. You know, superficial, but it doesn't. That's not helping anything. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, then you get the angry. Thing yeah. You can't yeah. really see, and you, whatever people see it, and they do think like you got anxiety. But at that point, it's such a material Visible change. Visible thing. So like, not just your appearance, but like the things people gravitate to for cues about your communication, mm -hmm. like oh, yeah. eyebrows. That when you do like. Um, design like the this is very easy wow, to read. Wow, you can control you your eyebrows really well. Eyebrows. I'm impressed. And because well, of you that, can raise an I'm terrified about getting this, having this disorder. You will not have it. You will not get it because it's genetic, and you would know by now. Yeah, you okay. would know by now. But uh, don't, don't underestimate how oblivious <laughs> I can be. To things. Brett's gonna wake up in the middle of the night yeah. and somehow oh, develop that watch. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, but it is. It, you're right. It's something that you know, going into high school, that was that was tough for me because you. You, you do it to comfort yourself. So if you feel insecure during the day, the thing that you want to do is go home and comfort yourself about it. Yeah. So you've done it all day. You go to school. Someone notices it and says something. You oh, get insecure about gosh. it. You go home. You it's think a vicious about cycle. it. Yeah. Vicious. And it's just like, it's a thing that, you, and I was on a cheer, cheerleading squad as well. Yeah. So it was like, a whole lot of that. And that's why people at home just need to be empathetic too. Just always be empathetic. You never know what that person is going yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, where, what, what's next for you? What can you share with us? Like some of the things that you're up to or what you hope to accomplish? Yeah, yeah. So this past summer I shot two different series. So Mr. Student Body President is is out now yep. on Go90. Go90, the entertainment app, Go90. New episodes every Thursday. What? Yep. Um, but, and that's great. I'm so excited for people to be finally able to see that. And, you know, when the premiere happened, a lot of people came up and were like, oh, this is great. Like, you're doing an acting thing that doesn't feel like a, like a regular YouTube thing. Not that regular YouTube things, you know, but a lot of times YouTubers play their own character. Play themselves. They play themselves. Yeah, yeah and what I'm trying so hard to do is not play myself. Right, because you're not a sociopath. Some would say, <laughs> you know, some might argue yeah. that, but I would, would say, say I'm the not. the mere act of acting is the act of being a sociopath. Right. Oh, I've got a very yeah. calculated mask on, <laughs> little did you know. Uh, no, but, you know, so I'm trying to kind of pursue that a little bit more, and, and the second, you know, show that I... Uh, shot this summer. It's not out yet, but Ooh. it should be out like next What's that about? Year. What Can you tell us anything? I don't know how much I can say. All I can say is that uh, I'm like a neurotic nerd, Ooh. It, which is really fun. So this is, yeah. you're playing a lot of different characters. Um, you know, they're all wearing glasses. You're definitely glasses. not playing yourself. Yeah, like, I, I don't want to play myself. I want to get as far away yeah. from that as possible. Yeah. Exactly. So they're all wearing glasses, which is kind of the same, you know, principle. Typecast. I get that a lot. <laughs> I get the glasses a you lot. Do. I get the glasses That's a lot. That's so weird. But that yeah. helps you, I would think. An actor to put anything on, whether it's a wig or glasses, I feel oh, like yeah. that would help my transformation. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's just kind of feel weird when they're like, where they see me. Too. They're your like, glasses. Why, yeah. why oh. does every casting director have Trying to put glasses. glasses on. Well, so the first thing that I did, Mr. Student Body President, I'm wearing my own glasses because I do wear glasses. To, to see things, and I don't wear contacts because I'm terrible about leaving. So is contacts everything blurry out. right now to you? Everything's super blurry. Oh, good. You guys look great. I bet. Good. I was, you guys look so amazing. Good. You guys look amazing. So Brad looks like a ten. <laughs> you yeah. are a ten, Brad. Okay, yeah. you are a ten. <laughs> He's out. Um, but no, yeah. So those were my actual glasses, and then for the other show that I shot, they gave me reading glasses, and they forgot to pop the lenses out before we did our first couple scenes, and so my eyes look. I look yeah. like. Um, who's that character in Harry, Harry Potter? Potter yeah. 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 Uh, 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 What's her name? Luna? No, it's uh, Luna. Yeah, it's it's professor, it. Professor. 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 Uh, Tim, I want to say. through the thing. Tim, yell it. Tim, yell it, Tim. Sybil. Sybil. No, no, I don't. Is it? Longbottom, no? Neville no, Dumbledore. that's Neville Longbottom! Dumbledore Trelawney. Professor Trelawney. Oh, that's what it is. Professor Sybil? You're crazy! I don't know what's wrong with you! Uh, I'm not wearing my glasses! Yeah. <laughs> 
That's I can't nice remember without your glasses. Duh! No, but yeah, I, I look like I have her like moon eyes. Nice. Yeah. Gross. I think that can so, actually yeah. ruin your sight when you oh, put for on sure. glasses for that sure. are okay. I had Just such a bad careful. headache. I had such a bad yeah. headache for the, like the next hour, and then. I obviously I went to the props and I was like, "Hey, remember that time you were supposed Pop to take out. these out? Let's do that this time." Yeah, because they create so, a glare on the camera too. Yeah, yeah. So we took them out for the rest of it. It was only like Yikes. two or three shots that we actually had the glasses on. <laughs> okay. But um, anyway, so that is that's like a full drama though. That's like a thirty-minute drama. That's Ooh. really fun. So you'll have to come back and promote that. Yes. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, when I'll it's ready, that. when you can talk about it, please come back in the meantime. For sure. You all need to vote for your YouTube channel at the streamies, okay? That's under the fashion category. Oh. And then also make sure that you check out Mr. Student Body President on the Go90 app. New episodes every Thursday, yep, right? Every Thursday. And we'll see you all next time on Pop Trigger.